I just wanted to film that beautiful sunset over there, Vortex. If there's anything that makes life worth living on this ship planet, it's sunsets, okay? If I seem like I'm really negative, it's because I think about stuff that most people don't think about. And I feel stuff that most people don't feel about things that they don't think about. In case you're wondering, why is she so obsessed with jazz? So I don't kill myself, honey. Do you want me to kill myself? I'm convinced that like, anybody that's the slightest bit inconvenient, they just want them dead, you know? Dude, that tower, that's a new tower. I know that's a new tower. I didn't see that here before either. Dude, I'm telling you. This shit, there's just all kinds of stuff that they're putting up that they just expect people not to notice because, yeah, they're on their phones all the time so they don't notice shit. This is the whole point of the TV, was just to dupe the American public by keeping them entertained so that they wouldn't pay any attention to what's going on in their own country. where my friend Ronit lives and I'm gonna hang out with her tonight at this bar where we do stand-up comedy because believe it or not I'm a comedian dude most comedians are so bitter and angry and mean I mean I, <laughs> I'm not trying to make excuses for that but it was like when I discovered stand-up comedy, it made so much sense in regards to my perspective on everything. And comedy is literally the only place where I can be myself. I mean, Steak and Shake allows me to be myself too. But if you had any idea like how many people just don't understand me and... I mean, whatever, that's fine. They don't have to understand me. But what I'm saying is that, like... I'm able to be myself. I'm able to just wear stickers on my face and not shave and, you know, be this weirdo. I'm, I'm able to, to do that and, and people aren't like disgusted by me or, you know, actively working against me. I mean, there, there's, there have been so many places where I've worked where people have talked a lot of shit about me. They won't tell me to my face what they think. So they'll have issues with me, but they don't confront me personally. Even though that would be the best way to do it. Because then I could explain to them why I feel the way that I do or why I think the way that I think. But it's like people don't want explanations. They just want to be mad. And they just want to be out to get certain people, certain things, certain ideas, you know. A anything that makes them question their reality. They can't handle it, okay? And the reason why I hate everybody is because of the fact that, like, everybody does the same shit. And they want to pretend that, oh, no, it's just this other group that does that. And it's literally everybody that just loves the fuck out of being brainwashed, dude. So... Oh no, it's just, it's just so unnerving living in a world this stupid. And it's like, I don't expect them to, to like me or anything like that. But it's like the, the fact that people just can't, you know, leave somebody alone and, and let them be whatever they are. It's like people feel the need to meddle Metal, metal, metal. That's all they do. And it's none of their fucking business. You know? It's like people talking shit about me. It's none of my business. 
people not understanding me, it's none of my business. People thinking that my perspective is wrong, it's none of my business. Like, it, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Because if I'm right with God, that means that I'm right with myself. And so, it doesn't matter how many people don't understand the way that I live my life, or the way that I dress, or the way that I carry myself as a female. You know? It's like, people are way too concerned about the world. And I know that I'm somewhat hypocritical because I'm shooting this video, and obviously, like, I care somewhat, otherwise I wouldn't be shooting this video, but it's just, it's just annoying. Because people just have outrageous expectations of other people. They don't have outrageous expectations of themselves, but everybody else, they expect to adhere to a particular standard that they themselves don't even adhere to. So it's, it's just, I just want everybody to kill themselves. I really do. I really do. Like, that's a legit sentiment. <sighs> okay, I don't really want... <laughs> I don't really want people to kill themselves. I just want them to think about it. I want them to consider it. Because suicidal thoughts make you stronger. They really do. And they make you reevaluate your life and go, wow, I'm doing it wrong. I should do it right so I don't kill myself. Right? Right? <sighs> Obviously need weed. <laughs> but anyway. told her I'd be here by 7.30 and it is 7.28. But yeah, man. It's just so frustrating to, like, actually think and consider, you know, different outcomes, consider different causes and effects whereas like everybody just wants to be right everybody just wants to be the one that has the solution everybody wants to be the one that's like super duper relevant man like it doesn't matter like none of this shit matters like the more that I think about it the more that I, I just see the futility of everything and I'm like dude it, it doesn't matter like all the stuff that people are talking about is so futile Because nothing is going to change for the better. It's just not. Like, it's all a psychop to make you think that you have control over what the powers it be do to us, okay? You don't have any control over that. The only thing you have control over is your energy and how you contribute to the world. And so many people think that going online and adding their two cents is a contribution. No, it's not. No, it's not. Such a waste of time. And sometimes I regret doing YouTube at all. I just want to quit. Because I, I just kind of hate it, you know? Like, I know that I'm good at what I do, and I know that I'm supposed to do it. That's why I don't quit. But I just really, really, really hate the internet. And though I've met some pretty cool people, shout out to y'all cool people out there. Um, but, you know, it's the fucking internet, man. Like, I. <sighs> the internet is literally here to, like, destroy everybody, it's a digital flood and it's wiping everybody out. Especially people that call themselves Christians.